In the crook of the west coast of Africa lie two small extreme islands. Sao Tome and Principe are millions of years old and full of extreme life. And Academy researcher Bob Drews wants the whole world to know it. The stuff that is naturally there that got there by random chance tends to be highly endemic. That is, they've gotten there and they have accumulated change and now they're different and genetically distinct from their mainland ancestors. Well, both these islands are loaded with endemic species, which makes them fascinating. Life is abundant there, but was not well known. Over 10 years ago, Bob started organizing multidisciplinary teams of Academy scientists to visit the islands and record its biodiversity. We've had something like 27 people, different scientists and their grad students over the past 10 years, each studying a different element of the biota, but all based on the same Darwinian evolutionary concepts. So for me, it's been a delight because I am a dilettante and interested in everything to be with these folks and learn how they do stuff. Several expeditions later, these teams confirm that these islands are special and extreme. The two Gulf of Guinea islands, Sao Tome and Principe, together are only 1,000 square kilometers. And yet these two little islands have the highest concentration of unique bird species in the world. And they're of many different families. And one of the amazing things about these islands is that there are amphibians on them. And one of the last things a scientist would ever predict is the presence of amphibians on an oceanic island and yet there are seven species of five different families, each of them unique. One of the amphibians that is there is a remarkable thing called a Sicilian, bright yellow thing that looks exactly like a worm. It's not, it's an amphibian without legs, but it has a skull and it has a backbone. There are about uh, 10 species of begonia on Sao Tome and Principe. One that becomes a tree is probably the largest species of begonia in the world. It occurs on Sao Tome. It's endemic there, it occurs only there and nowhere else. And one of the interesting things we found on this trip uh, in 2010 was a species that's about the size of a quarter, less than an inch high, that occurs on Principe. And we don't know what species it is yet, but it may be the smallest or certainly one of the smallest species in the world. Unfortunately, the people in Santa Tome and Principe, they do not know about the wonderful uh, variety of life that they have there. So my purpose is to try to inform them of what they have before it begins to change. And the reason for the immediacy of this is because they have or are going to get oil. Oil will change the islands for better or worse, and Bob wants to make sure the residents make informed decisions. That's why he enlisted Roberta. My role in this uh, expedition was to uh, meet with as many people as I could in terms of finding out what kind of educational programs and outreach is going on right now to see how the school system and the education system work. So I had to get to know very well the people. I attended uh, quite a few classes at school. I met with all the ministers of education and communication and tourism to, to give me a good idea how things work. We have been spreading the word as much as we can um, about what we're doing and what it might mean. Uh, people are fascinated. They are very interesting uh, about their own land, but they just don't have enough opportunities. Not only are we just taking specimens out of that country, but as we get the things identified, we're also bringing that data back to the country so they can build their own resources of their own biodiversity of their nation. And historically, a lot of institutions would go to foreign lands, collect, the specimens would come back to their institution, they would publish some papers, but nothing ever went back to the home country. And, and we're just changing that whole philosophy that we have a responsibility as scientists to ensure that we leave representative material in the country of origin that can be used for the next generation. Bob and his team of Academy researchers are doing something new, taking what they're discovering on these extreme islands and giving it back to its people. Bob wants them to appreciate the extreme life there as much as he does.